there, this is Amy, your Mac mentor here, and today I wanted to talk to you about Google aliases. So if you've ever wanted a separate email address in your business or for your Google Workspace account, you can do that without paying for multiple email accounts. So let's say you run a business by yourself and you would like to have your primary email for yourself and then you have a separate one called billing or info or something like that. Rather than paying for a separate email address, you can just have that set up as an alias that comes into your primary mailbox and then you can sort them out yourself and even reply from the alias. So I have told you about, about iCloud aliases before for personal use and um, today I wanted to show you Google aliases, which is for business or if you have a paid Google Workspace account. This does not work on the free Gmail accounts. You can just create another Gmail account. But if you wanna keep it simple, uh, within your Google Workspace account, you have one paid account, you can have multiple aliases funneling into that same email inbox. So I will show you how that works and how to set them up. So first we go to admin.google.com and then you'll go to your directory and then users. And then you'll choose the user that you want the alias directed to. So basically if it's you, then you can have these different aliases that will also funnel into that same inbox. So we go to the user and then we go to add alternate emails. And then in here, we can actually create the alternate email, which is called an alias. And this will go directly to my inbox, but it's addressed to hello at the maxbot.com and then it'll come into my um, regular inbox. So we do that and then we'll save it. And now um, in my inbox, I can see Amy at the MaxBot and then hello at the MaxBot. And within mail, if you're using Apple Mail, what I would do to sort those out is to create um, smart mailboxes so that it'll basically um, sort any that are addressed to you versus the ones that are addressed to the alias. And then it'll essentially give them their own folder so you can um, know which one you need to reply from. The next thing you wanna do to make sure you can also send from this address is go into your Gmail and then choose the gear to go to settings and then see all settings. And then we're going to the accounts tab. And under accounts, you can say send mail as, and we're gonna add that alias here. So that one was called hello at the maxpa.com. Make sure treat as an alias is checked. And then the next step, we will have it send a verification email, and then we'll put the verification code in here from the email. So let's see if we got that. Here it is. And then click verify. And now, um, we can choose to reply from the same address the message was sent to, which is probably what you'd like to do, um, unless you always want to reply from your main email. Now that you have your alias set up and the send mail as set up on the Google side, if you're using Apple Mail, you can also set that so that you can reply from your other aliases. So first we'll open mail and go to preferences and then go to the account you've created the alias for. And under email address, we're editing the email addresses and we can just hit the plus and put my new alias in there. And now when I create a new message, I will have the option here to send from my alias. I hope that was helpful for you today. If you have questions or comments, please leave them below or book an appointment with us at mymacmentor.com. And thanks for watching.